So, I want to use my Hawaiian gun racks that I just bought to mount my surfboard in my office. Above the closet door here, right up there, up and out of the way. The first thing I've done is drawn a diagram of how I want everything to be situated there. I've got 8 inches from the bottom of this here to where the screw goes in. So I've taken that into account, measured the width and length of the board, measured how much space I have on the wall from top to bottom, measured how much space I have on the wall from side to side, and come up with all my measurements I need to make sure it's centered on the wall when I put it up. The next thing I've got to do is get up there and find the wall studs and use these screws to screw this into the wall stud. You want that to go into a wall stud because obviously you don't want your surfboard falling off the wall. So that's the next step is I want to find two wall studs that are equally spaced apart that I can get my board up there and make sure it's nice and secure. And then all I've got to do is drill a small pilot hole in the stud and screw those in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then show you what it looks like on the wall. Pretty simple. So after doing some measuring, I've determined that where the wall studs are at um, is not really going to split the board up the way I want it to. I want everything to look symmetrical. I want it to look good on the wall. So instead, what I'm going to use are these uh, drywall anchors. And I bought some longer screws to go with it because they've got to be able to go through this. So these are a number 8 by 2 inch screw with these drywall anchors. It says these hold up to 75 pounds. Obviously a surfboard doesn't weigh anywhere near that. And it's going to be split up over two of those. So I think they'll be fine. Now the way you use these is actually pretty simple. It just has that little Phillips head screwdriver on the side there. You just insert it in there. Uh, put the little tip of this thing where you've marked where you want your hole to be and then just kind of shove it into the wall turning it and it'll just kind of burrow its way into the wall you don't have to drill anything first or anything like that very simple to use so I'm going to insert these two and hang my uh, Hawaiian gun racks on the wall so I'm going to attempt to show you how easy it is to use these little drywall anchors by doing it one handed and holding the camera with the other hand so I've got my screwdriver in place I'm going to start pushing and twisting on this. And as you can see, it's starting to burrow into the drywall. Just keep twisting and pushing. It's probably a lot easier to do this if you're not doing it one-handed. Now you see that pushed all the way in. Keep going. And there you go. Make sure it's nice and flush, and there you have it. So I've got my Hawaiian gun racks mounted onto the wall. Let's put a surfboard up there, see how it looks. And there we have it, Hawaiian gun racks up on the wall, holding a surfboard, looking good. That way I can get these things out of my garage, they're not taking up too much space, and it looks good on the wall in the office, so why not? Thank you very much for watching. Share the video if you like it, like my page, become a subscriber, all that good stuff. Thank you.